Sure. Hi, Marco. Hey. Um, it's really sad news about Pele. Um, he actually played um, at Craven Cottage for Santos way back in 1973. Um, what would you say about Pele and what kind of influence did he have on you? I think it's really sad um, moment for the football world. Um, I think all of us that we have the, the pleasure and the, the, the enjoyable moments to, to watch some, some moments of Pele. For me, unfortunately, I didn't watch too much, just videos. Uh, but it's, it was so, so important for football, some people. Um, and I think he deserves to call him like the best ever. Um, some of the others, they go, in, they go in a different direction, but for sure he's there on the top of the top. And it was amazing to see something that in that moment he, he did for his country, for the clubs and all, all that situations. And this is um, a big meaning for, for the, the football world. Sure. And you'll be paying tribute to Pelé on Saturday and also George Cohen. Um, that's going to be obviously a great event for Fulham fans. And Roy Hodgson's going to be coming as well, isn't he? Because he asked you yes. the other day. Yes, um, it will be a, a pleasure for us to have Roy with us. It's always a, a pleasure, of course, it will be a, a tribute a moment. Of course, it's important for him to be there with, with us as well, but uh, about Roy, he's always really welcome in our football club. From our football club, for me personally as well, because he's one person that I, I really respect. Um, since I joined this Premier League, every time we play against each other, we had always a good good conversations, um, he's a really gentleman, he's someone that I have all the respect and will be always welcome from me, from our football club uh, as well. In this moment, even more, because it's an important moment for us, but I know that it's really important for him to be there, to be there in that moment and will be with, with us in the, the tribute that we have to, to pay for um, George. An um, emotional moment before the match, for sure, or now with the situation Pele as well, but um, in about George will be an emotional moment, um, like was um, last season, but at home with our fans will be much more for sure. And it will be a moment for us to, to, to be all together again um, before the kickoff. And Marco, the transfer window is just about to open. Various reports are suggesting that you want um, Cedric from Arsenal, a player, of course, you know well. Um, is he a player you'd like to see back with you here in Fulham? Uh, I'm, I will not talk about the, the market. I know that it's open. Uh, it will start. Will be open uh, soon. Um, it's a moment to start to come. Um, some news. Some they are true. The other they are speculation. And normally I don't talk about players that they are not our players. I understand the question, uh, all the situation, but I will not talk because if I open to, um, the window to talk about Cedric to next week, I will have to talk about another one and another one, and I, will, I don't want to go. I want to keep the focus in our squad, um, what we can improve, and of course about the market. Of course, you are, we are aware, and we we know the, the some of the positions that we like to strengthen, and the, if you can, will be perfect for us. What do you need to do then? Do you think in this window? Okay, it's, first it's not an easy market, January market. Normal, we try to do everything well or at least what we can during the, the, the summer market to be in conditions to prepare to go and to, to go through the season. I think we did we did well of course and after that some players adapt better, others not, not so well. Some injuries in the in the middle and forty we had some some long term injuries like the first one with Eric Wilson now with the situation with the, uh, and with Manor as well now with with Kevano situation of course create a different scenario for us, but let's see what we, we can do in the market. I'm not talking about specific positions, but if you can, we, we are going to strengthen the, the, the squad. You're doing so well, um, and after the uh, Palace win, Tim Ream confirmed his new contract. I mean, what a player, 35 years old, he's played every game this season. What would you say about him? It's been unbelievable since I joined the football club. Um, his behaviour um, leads by the example, and of course uh, his performance as well. Not just this season. I, I have to say that last season he, he started all the games in, in championship in 46. He started 46 games and just one game he came, he came out small injured. And last season he didn't lose one session as well. And this season he's going the, in, in the same way. He's been 18 months really impressive from himself in terms of performance wise and everything what he's been doing for his football club. And this season even more because um, many people doubt about himself in Premier League. Um, I know that probably the last two 
uh, moments in, in, in Premier League for him wasn't the best for the club as well, but uh, he's playing at the same level that he did last, last season, um, imp trying to improve every time, come to the training session every time with the right mindset to, to learn, even if he is 35 years old and he's a really important player for us. And of course, um, about the um, last uh, another year in this contract, or because he deserves, he deserves everything, is being important for us and we don't, we don't need to wait until the end of the the season to take some decisions and uh, I took that decision before the, the break, of course, the club was started the conversations with, with him and um, it's a very good feeling for me and uh, for our fans and for our club that we can renew it with him one more season. Just two more questions, it's the last match of the year and this year has been a special year for you and Fulham, I mean how would you sum it up? It's been really special, definitely for, uh, for our football club, uh, first of all, not because of the promotion but the, the way we did it. The title, the, the way we got the title, the way we were so dominant um, all that all that season, and after that we knew that it would be important for us to start in the same way, the way we started um, this Premier League shot, and um, that is really important for us. And we knew that it was important to keep the momentum. We kept the momentum from the, the the first moment. Different competition, of course, completely different challenge for us. But um, I agree with you; it's been special uh, special moments for us. In, 2022, but we want more, and we want that next one, if 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 possible, will be better. And the next one is Southampton. They're bottom of the table with a rookie uh, manager. This is a great chance, isn't it, to end the year with a win? <laughs> I don't see in this way. Sorry, Premier League is Premier League. I understand the question. They are, and uh, the last few results for them, they were not the, the best. Of course, they, they changed the manager. Um, the manager, the, uh, the the break, all the break, the six weeks, probably. Five, I don't know uh, how long they they, they stop to, to, to give some rest to the players, but for sure they have at least four weeks to prepare well the, the team with a new manager. Um, and of course they are they are ready. Um, last week not not the best result for them, of course, but they want to react from that uh, that result. And um, in Premier League you cannot think that will be an easy game never. And if you think you are going to start to lose in that moment, definitely is the way. We are looking to the, the match, we are respect um, so tempted, and like if you are going to play the first on the table, you, you have to respect. It's the way we prepare ourselves, the way we are going to prepare the next few hours to the, to the match will be everything the same if you are going to play against the first on the, on the table. And we have to be really strong to play at our, at our best level to, to win the football match because they want to react. We want a reaction from ourselves from the good game that we you played and of course you want to keep the same level. Uh, if not, if you cannot do better, and um, of course, if you are in our best level, you have chances to 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 win. At home, with our fans behind, I think the, the atmosphere in our stadium uh, will be. Uh, I hope will be special because um, all the things uh, will start before the kickoff. Last game of the, the year for us is being so special. The year, the fans will be there to enjoy with us, to play with us as well, and uh, they will play a key part in in, in that game. Thanks, happy. New Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you too. Um, How is um, Mitrovic's foot and is he likely to start tomorrow? Yes, he will be ready to start. Um, I said to some of your colleagues last last week when we spoke about in my pre-match conference um, that day was the first day that we trained with the team last last Friday. And of course we had the doubts if he can play or not. Um, I'm not saying that he's 100% fit um, from his Foot problem, but of course he's he's getting better um, with more sessions. And the game that he played, he did a fantastic um, game last um, last week. And of course he's uh, in the Boxing Day, and of course he's, he's really important for us. And good sign for us that he's he's working more with the team, more involved now. Even if he's not 100, percent he will be in conditions to to start the game. And you've said that even at 80 percent capacity, he's still a key player, and he obviously. Proved it in the last <coughs> game with two assists and a goal. But uh, would you say, how do you balance his fitness with game time? And do you risk um, extended time on the sidelines if he's playing? No, you are not taking the, the risk. Of course, when we are saying, and Mitro said the same, that he's not fully fit, of course, when you're not training um, um, every single day, of course, you are not in be your best physical conditions. You have to manage sometimes because that. Situation probably after the match he has to 
um, instead of one day or two days to recover, it needs a little bit more time to recover from from the game. All that situations we have to manage, but of course, when he's, he's going in the pitch to start the game, of course, we have the, the, the OK from the medical staff, myself and him, we, we, we spoke before the match as well, and the feedback from him that he's ready to, to go. And of course, if he's going to start tomorrow, it will be the same, like he started the games in the World Cup as well. Of course, the, the medical staff from the national team and our medical staff, they were always in contact. And when uh, I were talking to medical staff, they, we took decisions like that one. Of course, we, we are not taking the, the, the big risk for the something happen. OK, in football, everything can happen, you know, but something happen that becomes something more serious, because if not, we will not do it. That is something that is not training properly every single day to to be in his best physical conditions. But I, I hope in the next few weeks and uh, the things will become a bit more normal for him to be every single day with me and his teammates. And he's a proven goal scorer in the Championship and he wasn't in the Premier League until now. Is it the team? Is it your management? What do you think has changed? <coughs> it's difficult for me to talk about it because I wasn't here before uh, with him. I cannot... I cannot, it will not be fair even to talk about what's happened in the past. I, I can speak about himself uh, under me and uh, since I joined the football club and we I had a, uh, this conversation with him in the morning, the numbers, the numbers they speak for themselves. I think it's clear that a player that in 59 games he scored 53 goals between Championship and Premier League, I think speaks for themselves. Um, he's not just a goal scorer for us. I think he proved again last week uh, with two... He was involved in all the moments, in key moments of the game, he was involved in all of them. And the, the situations, the assist, uh, the, the, two, the two goals that he, he was involved there, he scored, he scored uh, another goal as well, the, the, our third goal, and he's, he's a really key player for us and really important for me in all the moments of the, the, the game. And I'm really pleased for him because he deserves everything. And I believe that even much more to improve, big room to keep improving. Um, I wanted more and, and demand more from him. He wants more as well. He's a, he's a winner. He's someone that likes really... We share this and this passion and this, this ambition to win football matches and to be always better in the next day. And it's something that I'm really pleased for him. And if you'd have looked at this fixture in the summer, some may have looked at it as a potential six-pointer. Obviously, your top half of the Premier League and Southampton are at the bottom. Uh, but despite that, is it a dangerous time to be playing them uh, with a new manager and fighting for survival? It's always really dangerous. Every, any game in Premier League is... I understand your question and make, make all the sense, and I, I understand. Um, but we, we have a way to prepare the matches that the players they know. We don't, of course, we respect, we analyse the, 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 the opposition sides, we look for ourselves um, first of all and to analyse what we have to do as well. About respect and the focus, we look for all the other oppositions in the same way. We don't care about their position at the table, if they are in the better moment or not. We look for ourselves. We know that we are in a, in a good moment, even if you just played one game after the break. But it was a fantastic restart for us in the way we wanted. We need it as well. And uh, we want to keep the same, the same momentum. And that is the, th the, the thing for us. It's, a, it's always a, a dangerous game. It's always a, a tough game because it's, it's Premier League. Even if you are at home and we normally we feel really well playing at home, we feel stronger at home uh, uh, as well. It is always tough. It's always tough. We respect them. We know how, how they are dangerous in counter attacks. How they can punish you if you if you have some moments that you switch off. They can punish you as well. After they have a player in set pieces that is probably one of the best in this country as well. Are pros that they can decide a, a match in all, all the situations. So many things for us to be to be focused and don't think that is easy because if it will be the first mistake and we don't want to make mistakes, we are going to think that it will be probably even um, more difficult than the, the, the last week match. And finally from me, you said after the game at Selhurst Park about making sure the team's ambitions remain realistic. You've obviously had a great start to the season. So have, have the ambitions for this season changed? No. I think uh, everyone knows our... Our target, uh, we formed the first day, we, we didn't hide that situation and we, we don't need to change anything. Um, clear, we have to be, when I say that we have to be realistic, it's really what I'm, I feel, what I think, I know, I know the club, I know um, 
how we can be strong, but I know some of the weakness that we, we have as well. I know well our players and no one here wants to change anything because we, we didn't get nothing until now. That is the, the, the true. Uh, and we have to be to keep the, the feet on the, on the ground and to... This one, these things will not take the ambition from ourselves because we are really ambition club. We are an ambition group of players. We want really always more and more and more. But our ambition is to win the next one. That is our ambition. It will be always like that until we, we have something in our hands. And until now, it, we have 22 points um, and we, have, we need so many more points to, to get our, our goal.